We're near the town of Nico and we just got into an aban abandoned amusement park called Western Village. Well, there's no Western movie without a panda. Right? Yeah. We got this room. This is actually kind of creepy. I wonder if this was really left like it, or did somebody put this bunny up for it just to be creepy? Nice, you got a gun. Yeah. To give an idea of how badly this place crashed, this room used to comfortably seat about 400 people, and now it's abandoned. <laughs> the church is going to be creepy. is holding a real Bible. You can flip through the pages. And there's another gun here for some reason. This theme park was closed just eight years ago and to give an idea, the plastic bags are still totally intact and look quite fresh. Um, but because it's mostly built out of wood and this climate is very humid it's kind of got a really creepy super run down old vibe it's made to look old anyway because it's western themed what? it says 2015 fuck me over there apparently the owner of this place was very passionate about the wild west so he kind of he had a ranch, then he transformed it into an amusement park. This was not a calculated commercial move on his behalf. He just wanted to have all this. So I guess it makes it even sadder that this kind of went bankrupt and all. There are strangely accurate things in here. The guy must have really been passionate about the Wild West. Billy the Kid is a real convict that was being chased by the US in the Wild West. The ranch was opened in 1973, became an amusement park in 1975, and the place got closed in 2007. They had a pretty decently long run. Yeah. This looks to be a stage for Western-themed uh, performances. The crowd was seated over there, Buffalo Stadium it says. There's some mats, so it seems like the scenes were heavy on the stunts. Some of this stuff, I, I can't even say how how it was supposed to look originally right like how run down was this supposed to be and how run down it actually is because <laughs> it's meant to look a little yeah, run down yeah. we got a dead man oh shit How's the prison? Uh, bed's wooden, but it's kind of warm, so it's not bad. Every western village needs a bank. Yes. These figures of people in here really creep us out. You walk in and you don't realize there's gonna be one and it just stares you in the face. What the hell's going on here? It's a dentist.
house. Isn't it? Like Maybe. If you take pictures in one and feel like giant compared to the other. Like every amusement park, this one has an arcade here. Looks like someone stole all the toys. <laughs> this UFO catching is not longer functioning. This looks fun. This place looks like it was fun. There's some gacha pounds left. There's a river there, and if you take the bridge across, you're in the Mexican village. So it's like the Rio Grande in the US. <laughs> wow. The year is accurate because this building was built here in 1995, along with what's on the other side. Apparently the owner of this place impulsively built this and the surprise on the other side in 1995, 12 years before it closed, so I guess it was still booming. This stuff is crazy. How do you like Mount Rushmore? The Mount Rushmore stage. Built in this park in 1995. Uh, it's honestly my first time seeing Mount Rushmore, so I don't know how accurate it is. It looks like the pictures. What do you think? Pretty amazing. I like the the buffalo. I like the all the creepy pets, animals. This place breathes like failed dreams, and it's quite sad. It it has the added value of being being like an actual childhood playground that makes it double creepy. And it's in fact one of the many abandoned theme parks in Japan. For some reason, Japan has just lot of this stuff and it's one of the less popular less known I think so it's worth visiting if you're into this type of stuff yeah still a lot of things are very intact and worth checking out pretty easy to get to very close to the station and only about a two and a half to three hour commute from Tokyo mm -hmm. 